Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today let us talk about the nuclear hazards and the human health risks that it poses. Now when we have nuclear pollution or which is also called as radioactive pollution that mainly occurs due to the mishandling or the inappropriate storage of radioactive substances. What happens here is the radioactive substances decay and in this process they release a lot of radiations like alpha, beta, gamma radiations which can pose a health risk to human beings. The problem with this type of pollution, with the radioactive pollution is that you can't see the pollutants, you can't smell the pollutants and neither can you touch the pollutants. So it's very difficult to understand whether there has been a leakage, whether there has been pollution by radioactive substances until you start seeing the symptoms or you start seeing the effects of it. Now, there are many, many sources of nuclear hazards. There are a lot of uh, places where there can be a leakage of the radioactive material. We do have natural sources as well. For example, the cosmic rays from outer space do bring in a small amount of radioactive substances. We also have radioactive materials in the Earth's crust which are radiated outwards and which can add to the radioactive load on Earth. However, the man-made causes are more important over here because they these causes release radioactive substances in huge quantities and huge volumes. The first source, the major source of nuclear hazards and radioactive substances is the nuclear power plant. Now, nuclear power plants contain, a, you know, they regularly process a lot of nuclear material. They regularly pro process a lot of radioactive substances. So, this includes the, the radioactive uh, substances being brought in during the transportation, when there is waste that is produced after the radioactive substance has been used. All of these activities in a nuclear power plant are extremely risky and we need to take utmost care. Now, what I have shown you here are two major disasters, nuclear energy accidents in the world, which are rated at 7. 7 is the maximum severity on the international nuclear event scale. The first one I've shown you here is the Chernobyl disaster, which was which happened in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in North Ukraine in 1986. And at that time, it was part of the USSR. Here, what we have seen, I have shown you here is much more recent. That is the Fukushima nuclear disaster in March 2011, which happened in Japan. Now, what happened in Chernobyl was the core of the reactor collapsed. That means there was a meltdown and the meltdown caused explosions and that ruptured the reactor core, which destroyed the reactor building completely. In fact, this was immediately followed by an open air uh, fire, which lasted until a few days, you know, till May 1986, this fire also lasted. And during which there were a lot of airborne radioactive contaminants, which were released from the Chernobyl plant deposited in various other parts of USSR and Europe. In fact, there has been deaths due, not only due to explosion and skin burns, we have seen that in many areas around the USSR, around that Chernobyl area of Ukraine, there have been increased childhood thyroid cancer deaths, there has been dysfunctional bone marrow and in fact, the complete cleanup is not yet done. Cleanup is scheduled for completion by 2065 for a disaster which happened in 1986. So you can imagine the scale of this disaster. The second one that is Fukushima nuclear disaster here, there were four damaged reactor buildings, which you can see over here. So there, these four buildings were actually the accident was triggered by an earthquake, quite a big earthquake. And that was followed up by tsunami and the flooding by the tsunami caused the failure of the emergency generators and there was loss of power to the circulating pumps. When there is loss of this reactor cooling, there was no reactor cooling in the reactor core, which led to the meltdown and then explosion and a lot of contamination. In fact, the nuclear fuel contaminated even the groundwater and the Pacific Ocean, which is beside this power plant. So these were two of the major disasters. And why am I talking to you about this over here? Because these are the nuclear power plants, which are a major source of radioactive pollution or nuclear hazard. The second one is the use of nuclear weapons. So we know about this. We know about the bombing of uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, which had caused a lot of brain damage in fetus, in the unborn children. It led to low IQ in the children. It led to mental retardation. Even now, people in those areas are suffering. Not only that, even when we test the nuclear weapons, it's not just during a war, even when we do the testing of nuclear weapons, if appropriate measures are not taken, that can lead to a lot of nuclear hazards. It can lead to release of the radioactive contaminants into the environment. We also have 
radioactive pollution risk when there is mining of uranium that is when the uranium is being taken up from the ground if the precautionary measures aren't taken then that can lead to exposure of the people working over there to uranium which is again a radioactive element that can cause a risk or it can cause a hazard lastly during the disposal of nuclear waste now this disposal of nuclear nuclear waste not only comes from the nuclear power plants it can also come from the research waste or from the mining waste so whenever there is transportation whenever we are trying to dispose it off by burying it under the land or under the sea at that time a lot of radiation can be released which can pose a health risk so what are the health risks that it poses the first impact you can say or the first risk to human beings is the risk of mutation and dna damage so radiation is known to cause a variety of mutations and mutations are unpredictable these are changes which happen in our dna and you really can't predict what way they'll go what will be the mutation so mutation and dna damage are permanent they are hereditary so you can pass it on to your next generation as well these are the this is one of the major health risks caused by radiation next we have seen that it does affect exposure to long term radiation chronic exposure for a long period of time does affect the reproductive ability of a human being it also is known to cause or trigger cancer it causes immune damage so it weakens the immune system it causes premature aging there have been it has been seen that it causes bone marrow disorders and you know reduced blood cells and when your blood cells are reduced automatically your natural resistance to diseases is decreased that's why it also causes immune damage and in many cases high doses of radiation can be fatal it can lead to death of the individual now the major control measures for these are to curb the leakages or to control the leakages from nuclear reactors from their careless handling during the transport during the use of radioactive fuels when there are fission products being formed when the isotopes are being used all of these have to be really carefully controlled you have to control the leakages you have to make sure that there are safety measures which are enforced strictly see the safety measures are already there but the enforcement is what has to be taken care over here we have to make sure that the safety measures are enforced despite the cost that is involved in it whatever are the troubles that it, we have to go through we need to make sure that safety measures are enforced the waste disposal has to be extremely careful it has to be effective and efficient not only that there has to be regular monitoring we have to have quantitative analysis by frequently sampling all the risk areas wherever there is a risk of pollution we need to keep sure make sure that we keep sampling that region so that the pollution is checked early appropriate steps have to be taken against occupational exposure now people who are working in areas that have high radiation levels we need to make sure that safety measures are taken so that you know safety measures are strengthened so that each and every one of them is prevented from the occupational exposure and thus we can curb the nuclear hazards and the radioactive pollution so this was about the various causes or the sources of nuclear hazards the health risks that it poses and some of the important control measures i hope it was useful to all of you see you all in the next video as well thank you